suppose a bit of a roller coaster ride in your first game as coach. How did you sort of see that uh, result in performance, and how did you enjoy your first game as coach? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it was a good experience. Um, with the performance, I, I do feel like uh, we can do better. Um, but you know, credit to the boys for the fight they showed when they went a player down, and um, you know, I think uh, you know they showed what they're capable of. So I do want to build from that, and, and you know, set our standards a bit higher than, than what they what they've been. Obviously, it was tough to go down to ten men in the sixtieth minute, but did you see a lot of positives that you can build on for the remainder of the season? Yeah, definitely. I think we do have some players that are able to, to do great things for us. Um, I think it's just my job to, to find a way to, to get that more consistency in the team. Um, you know, but um, like I said, the, 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 the togetherness, the, the fight that the team had was, was great and we can definitely build on that. Did you have any objections to the, to the dismissal? I mean, it's, I'd have to see it again, but I actually thought he was trying to control the ball and then uh, he, he made contact with his chest, but I don't think there was any malice in it, but, you know, it's, it's what the ref saw and we can't change it now. And, and you obviously lost Daniel to injury and I think Johnny Asper was struggling a bit. What, what are those situations injury-wise? Uh, again, I haven't spoken to the physio, but I think uh, Dan was just coming down with some cramps um, and uh, Asper was, uh, it was just a tactical change, to be honest. I don't know if the heat impacted Danny at all, but like, it was 35, I think, around the kickoff. Did you? Did that play a part in your thinking with your subs and how sapping is it when you're on the side? Yeah, yeah definitely. And I, and I think uh, you know, for for the pace of the game, it really slows things down. You know, um, uh, we want to try and create a, an attractive uh, style of football. Not only us, I think every other team. But um, playing in the heat is not easy. It's not easy for the players. I feel for them. You know, I've done it myself in the past, and. Um, it's definitely not easy, and you know we'd prefer later kickoffs, and or even if they could delay, so it's a bit uh, cooler. Um, Milo, what did you see happening in the job for a long time? But what did you learn from that experience out there? I, I definitely learned that there's definitely a lot of fight in them. You know, they they don't give up, um, which which I love to see. Um, you know, and there's there's some good moments in there. There's definitely room for improvement, of course. You know, and um, I've only had two sessions with them, and um, I really feel like we can improve in the next in the next few weeks. And I'm I'm looking forward to working with them, and um, you know, getting a bit more consistency and and you know, seeing passes that that we look for or, or that I look for. It was a pretty positive turnaround from the red card. Actually, you took the lead. What did you change tactically after going down to ten? I think you know what I, th I think when we made some changes, actually, uh, we we start to get a bit more energy and, and credit to the boys who came on. I think they they also changed the game for us, um, gave us a lot of energy, and we had a bit more of an outlet uh, when that happened. Um, and tactically, it was just about getting the boys a bit closer together, um, you know, to be closer to the player on the ball and, and have an option to pass out. Of course, Bacchus was on a yellow card heading into half time. You took off Jerry Skatardis. Instead, what was the thinking behind that? Um, I just thought that uh, in, in this heat it was, a, it was very difficult. I wanted to, uh, just some fresh energy in midfield, you know, and Charles gives us a lot of energy. Um, and I thought he did really well when he came on and, and um, you know, gave the opposition a bit less time to, to play certain passes. So uh, that was it. Um, obviously, the heat has played a factor, and we've already touched on it. Um, I asked the same of John Aloisi, and I asked the same of you. Um, the second half obviously opened up a little bit and you can debate the merits of whether or not that was because um, the player was sent off, but the, the conditions are obviously cooling down. Um, you know, we had uh, two Western United women's players were sent to hospital after their game, which kicked off at three o'clock for heat stroke. Like, I guess this is becoming more and more of an issue this season and we're seeing it. What's, in your mind, what's, what would the solution be? I think just later kickoffs. You know, I understand that, um, you know, we have the, the, the TV you know, putting games on at different times so everyone can watch all games. Or, but uh, later kickoffs, we have to look after the players and, and one, their, their health is most important. But I, but I also think uh, the quality of the games will be better, you know, when the, when the temperatures are a bit cooler. Um, obviously, you were gearing up for the NPL season when, when the change was made, um, which kicks off next week. Are there any players that you might look at bringing in towards the end of this season from the academy that you've worked with closely? 
Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely a few, you know, but uh, it's something that we can't rush. You know, I just want to make sure that when we do introduce them, we introduce them right and uh, to give them every chance to succeed and, and also for the team. Uh, I'm not going to do it just for the sake of bringing players in. Uh, for me, they have to, to deserve it, you know, with their attitude and their, their work rate and their consistency and their performances. So I think you'll definitely see a few more before the end of the season. Last question, guys. Really, it was announced... Um this morning that Spider's going to take over that role for the Bulls and NPL. What's he going to offer for the club and how much dialogue are you going to have with him during the course of the season? I will have plenty of dialogue with, with Spider and you know he, he brings a, a wealth of experience. He's, he's played at some of the biggest clubs. We, we were Socceroos teammates for, for over 10 years so um, you know he's, he's going to bring a lot to them. Um, you know, especially his defensive mindset and teaching him those kind of things I think will be very valuable and like I said we'll be talking very regularly uh, and making sure that you know, the right players are coming through and, and being seen.